Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel here on YouTube. Today we're in Wesley Chapel and we're showing you this Biscayne Bay home behind me in Epperson, which is a really cool lagoon community here in Wesley Chapel. Today we're in November of 2021. It's a beautiful day, sunny in the mid 70s, so absolutely beautiful sunny Florida weather here today. We're gonna show you this home behind me. It is a six bedroom, four and a half bath home with 4,954 square feet of living and the price at time of filming, it's a base price of $742,000. Now that price will most likely go up as time goes on. And also that does not include lot premium and upgrades. So if you are interested in the most current pricing, make sure you contact us. All the contact information will be in the description below. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the outside of this home and then take you on a tour of the inside. So as I turn around, the one thing I notice is this is a very modern looking home. It's very similar to some of the homes that we see down in uh, like the Miami Boca Raton area with the actual elevation design of the home. We also have lots of landscaping, plenty of windows. I love how they have the browns and the whites. And then you have this brown going all the way through the entrance with a nice wide entryway. So as we come up to the entryway, of course we have pavers and then we come up to this double door with plenty of glass, so plenty of light inside. And I also even like how they have the design going all the way up as well on the front entry. So let's go ahead and go inside and show you the rest of the home. So here we are in this amazing home here in Wesley Chapel. Now, the first thing I notice when I uh, come in the home is what we're stepping on, which are these beautiful, large ceramic tile floors. And then of course, above us, we do have tray ceilings. We have two tray ceilings, one here with this very modern light fixture. And then of course, there's also one above where the camera is with a light fixture as well. Over to my left is sort of a formal living room library area. So as we come in here, you can see it's all set up for sitting areas and it has this really beautiful built-in bookshelf, bookshelf uh, with all the different uh, decor on the bookshelf. And then we continue going down this way. We do have a powder bath here. And what's really nice about this powder bath is that it's got a lot of mirrors. So Haley's probably gonna love this specific powder bath. We have mirror here, all three directions mirror. And of course we have this floor, the same type of floor going all the way up to the ceilings. Very beautiful with the pedestal sink and of course the toilet. So let's go ahead and go here. Now this, uh, there will be a door here. They currently have the door off because it's a model home, but there will be a door here. And what's cool is that this could be used as like a next gen suite. So come and follow me. And let me show you what I'm meaning by next gen suite. We have another door here that's an exterior door. So you can actually come in and out through this exterior door and never have to come into the main home. And then you have your own living space here. You can put a TV on the wall, sit here, have a nice living room, a little dining room area, and then a kitchenette with a little um, refrigerator sink. And then you could put like a little microwave or a little uh, burner here uh, for doing cooking. And of course you have your shelves for all your dishes and glassware. And then as we continue down here, this would be a bedroom. So you'd have your bedroom here. Currently they're using it as an office because this is their sales center, uh, but you would have a bedroom here and then right next to the bedroom would be the bathroom. So, um, so you would have your own little suite. We have our nice cabinets, countertops, mirror, and then light fixture. And then of course behind me, a very beautiful shower um, with tile work going all the way up with that nice white accent tile going across the middle there. So this will be really nice. And another, another thing about this is that we do have the engineered hardwood floors here in this specific area. So let's go ahead and go back over to the other side and show you. One thing that I did like when I first came in, which you probably see really, really uh, clearly now is how they use this wallpaper. And this wallpaper goes really good with the actual color of the walls. And so it's absolutely beautiful. All right, so follow me this direction and I'll show you what's over on this side of the home. So down this hallway here is going to be the entry to the garage. Now currently they're using it as a design studio and they're doing an actual session right now so we can't get there, but you'd have a drop zone and the entry to the garage. Behind me through this door is gonna be a bedroom. They currently use that as an office. And it's gonna be a very similar bedroom to what we see over here. Now we move over into back into like the engineered hardwood floors and we have a full bedroom, nice size bedroom, really cool accent wall there with the wallpaper on the back there. And then we do have a closet on the other side. Now over here to my left, there's gonna be a Jack and Jill bathroom. So as we come over, we transition from that wood to a ceramic tile floor. And then we do have dual sinks for both sides 
lights for both bedrooms and of course the mirror and then we have a separate door going in and in this area we do have a toilet and then also we do have the uh, tub slash sh shower it has tile working all the way up with really nice white tile in the middle it really does stand out with that darker colored tile that's on the wall so let's go ahead and go back out and show you one more thing in this area before we continue the tour to the main section of the home which is right here so this would be the laundry room so the laundry room you do have the sink and built-in cabinets you're washing your dryer you have some uh, area there for storage and then you can see it goes through to a closet that's actually a closet from the primary bedroom we'll show you that once we're over in the primary bedroom area so let's go ahead and follow me and we'll go back through here. I love this area here, this living room area here, absolutely beautiful. But let's come back here and go and show you the main living area of the home. And of course, you can see how wide this entryway is and it opens up to this amazing living area. We have our family room, very, very large family room, as you can see, just continues to go on and on with the sliding glass doors that go out to that beautiful view of the pond. Now on the other side, we do see that we have some extra cabinetry here. It's like a nice blue color with white countertops. We do have a beverage refrigerator and of course plenty of space for wines and glassware and everything else that you can have. And then that sort of goes and joins into the kitchen. Now they do have a little, a little area here for um, a sitting area where you can probably do your recipes and things like that, do all the work that you need to do with your recipes right here, drink your morning coffee, and then of course plenty of storage all the way throughout. This is where the refrigerator would go. And then we do have um, more space going around. Now we do have the blue cabinets here and the white countertops. And then on this side, we do have the white countertops that go over on that waterfall countertop feature that we see in some of these really nice homes. Uh, behind me is the pantry. Let me go ahead and open that up so you can see the size of the pantry. They have some uh, <laughs> decor of uh, fake lemons and limes in there. And then of course, as we continue, we have more uh, glass displays of cabinets with all your china. Nice backsplash, just a basic white backsplash, but it goes all the way up to the ceiling. And we do have Samsung products here as far as the uh, vent out. And then this is a gas community, it has a five burner uh, gas stove top plenty of storage all the way throughout. And then on the other side, we do have our dishwasher. So the dishwasher is right here. And then we do have a very large sink. Uh, it actually is a porcelain sink and goes underneath the actual countertop with this brass faucet above us. And of course we see matching light pendants that come down more and more storage over here. And then of course we have more cabinets here and we do have a microwave and also a oven as we see. So um, another cool little feature is that we do have actual electrical outlets right here. So that's nice and convenient if you need to do any work on this counter. So then we open up to the dining room. So it's a very, very spacious dining room. They currently have it set up for eight people, but you can definitely fit a bigger dining room table in here. Very, very beautiful views out to the pond and the patio area. We do have some windows on the other side for some really good natural light and then tray ceilings with wood beams going across above us. Uh, for that really nice feel of this specific room. So follow me this direction. Um, let's go over to the primary bedroom suite. Um, actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and show you. We do have a nice uh, patio area. So follow me out here. Let's go ahead and go to the patio and show you what's out here first. So come ahead and follow me. And so we have a covered area where you can sit out here and enjoy uh, meals. And then of course we have this summer kitchen. We have our sink area, barbecue, you have an air vent and then more and more uh, uh, space. And then it comes out to this really nice paved area where you can sit out here, you can lounge out and enjoy, of course, the beautiful Florida weather that we're seeing. It even has a little sitting area on the other side as well. That's actually a fire pit on the other side. So let's go ahead and go back inside. They even set up for a TV here so you can watch your sports games out here if you wanted to as well. So let's go ahead and go back in. I'll close this up and then we will continue this direction. So we come over here and we transition back over to those wood floors. Um, and then this is the primary bedroom suite. This is a very, very large primary bedroom. As you can see, we have a king size bed. It's sort of got a bed board that goes on. And then of course this beautiful wallpaper all throughout. It goes all the way around the whole room. We have three windows above the bed for some natural light. And above us, they've done some little woodworking to make a cool design in the ceiling as well. And then we do have even more space here where it actually goes out. So you can actually put either cabinets in here. They currently have it as a TV. And um, so pretty cool space. 
And they also have one little storage area here. They currently have it as a linen closet. So you can add a little storage there as well. So let's go ahead and go through to the primary bathroom. So as we come in here, this is one thing I like about this builder. They, their primary bathrooms are pretty cool. So they have really nice countertops and of course the cabinet work. And then check out the actual tile work all the way on that wall there. They have a white diamond shaped tile in the middle. And then this really cool multicolored tile going all the way around the edge with these beautiful oval mirrors and light fixtures above. And of course we have the two sinks and then check this out. It's the actual shower area where you can go in and this shower area is awesome. So we go in, we step down into some white tile, and then we have all the different showers you can want. You have control over here, control over here, and they have a really nice tile that matches the other tile. We have rain shower heads above us as well. And then of course, this really cool mosaic of the diamonds and also that tile work here. It's just absolutely beautiful. And then we can step up, and as we step up, we step up to an actual tub. Uh, the other home they had that we did that was right across the street uh, had the same sort of design, a little bit smaller than this, it was a little bit smaller home, but I do like how this is done and how they've done the design of the shower and the bathtub all in one behind this nice glass door. So um, water closet is right here. So nice wallpaper all the way around. So nice and private. And of course they would have a door there. And then this is the main closet. As you walk in here, you can see it's plenty of space. It's safe to come in. There's no mirrors. Um, and as you can see, we have plenty of space here for shoes. You can pull your shoes here. And of course you have your clothes. So uh, one person can have one side and another person can have the other side. So um, you should be able to have no issues with space. So let's go ahead and go back and follow me this direction. Now, if you haven't done already, do me a huge favor. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up on YouTube for us. We definitely appreciate it. And subscribe to our channel if you enjoy seeing homes, sort of luxury homes like this. This would be a great channel to subscribe to, especially in Florida. Most of our videos right now are in Florida and uh, we post every week. So you'll be able to see a new luxurious home every single week throughout the state of Florida. So let's go ahead and go upstairs and I'll see you up there. All right, so here we are on the second level of this. And of course you're welcomed by this amazing loft. Very, very spacious. You have all the space for seating, a really cool light fixture above us, tray ceilings. We do have the in-ceiling speakers in this specific home. And then of course we have our TV section over here. Behind me are some sliding glass doors looking out on a balcony and of course the pond. We'll go out there in a little bit. But then as we continue to go around, they've had, they have this into like a multi-use space because they're able to put like a little office area here where you can sit down, do some work, do some crafts, whatever you know, that you enjoy doing, you can do right here. So let's go ahead and go down this hallway and see bedroom number five. It's a very peachy bedroom. So I don't know if this peachy or pink, it looks a little bit of both. So here we are. Um, we do have some really cool wallpaper there that matches, of course, the wall color. And then we do have some trim around the ceiling. And of course, the bed here with the end tables that are actually floating on the wall. And then this really neat uh, light fixture above us. We do have a closet on the other side of the room as well. So let's go ahead. And what we'll do is we'll go through a pretty large Jack and Jill bathroom, which is right here. So as we come in, we actually transition over to tile. And then we see we do have a sink and they do have really cool tile work all the way up to the ceiling and this neat mirror in the middle. And of course the light fixture. And then the next stop is going to be the uh, toilet area. And they have some pretty cool artwork there with llamas and lions and leopards. Um, and then of course we have our tub and the tub has some tile with some accent tile and it goes all the way up to the ceiling. And then of course we have another section here. This would be an actual door so that this could be a private sink area where you have your sink and of course the same sort of design that we saw on the other side. And of course it opens up to bedroom number six, which is like a very dark blue bedroom. It has a really neat fan above us, matches the loft. And of course this woodworking going that goes all the way on the wall and of course across the ceiling as well. We do have a closet on the other side um, and this is all done up as far as like sort of riding bicycles. So let's go ahead and go back to the other side and show you a different angle of the loft as we come here. So this will be a nice little gathering area. It's a cool area. I'm sure the kids would like the upstairs bedrooms because they'll be able to get the lofts as well. And then we go outside. So let's go ahead and go outside. And this is a really nice uh, 
balcony area. And of course you have the view with, yeah, I can see a few birds out there swimming in the water and it's just really cool. So that's this home. Again, if you are interested in uh, any home here in Florida, make sure you contact us. My phone number is 407-630-8484. Thanks for watching. Talk to you all next week. Take care, bye-bye.